The topic, Joe Burrow. The question, how good is he playing in practice? Let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm going to make another video about uh, about practice right here. Again, I know they're kind of silly. They're, it's, it's not too much you can actually tell, but I think there is some small things, uh, and I just think it's fun. And listen, there's no football on. There's no actual tape to talk about, so why as well, might as well talk about this. And there are, some, I think, some, some little nuggets you can pick up from watching this, and I know most people don't want to sit through an entire two-hour-long video or, you know, try to search through all these, you know, 100 different five-minute videos, so... I did it for you. I found some stuff, what I find interesting, uh, and so let's just jump into it. We'll start things off with this play. This will show why uh, Burrow was drafted 1-1, uh, uh, and what's going to happen is that you see uh, what, what I'm trying to display on the left side of the screen is that that's his first read. He's supposed to look to his left, uh, have a quote-unquote read there. There, of course, is not going to be like an actual player you know, trying to get open over there. Uh, it's just practice, but you know, he fakes a read over there, and then he's going to, again, quote-unquote, decide that that's not open. So go to his second read, which is on the right side of the screen. Receiver running quick slant route. Uh, that's who he's going to try to hit. That's what he's doing. Uh, and what I love about Burrow and what I've always really liked about Burrow uh, is his footwork. I, I think his footwork is fantastic. And if you watch how his feet go, I mean, you know, he's perfect position to, you know, make make a throw to the left. But then gets in perfect position to make this throw to the right. And at this point, again, just in perfect position. This is great fundamental football. All of his fundamentals are 100% down. You know, my most recent video I made about a practice was about Herbert. And I talked about how I think his fundamentals have greatly improved from college to just his first practice. Burrow, his fundamentals have always been great. Uh, but it's still great here. I mean, again, perfect position to make a throw. And he's also going to make a perfect throw there. Just an absolute strike. Nothing there is something that we haven't seen of him before, but, you know, still kind of fun to see. Um, one thing I think is interesting about practice footage is that sometimes you can learn less about how good these players are and more just about what kind of system they're going to be in just by watching what kind of drills they do. I think sometimes the drills itself can be more important than how the players actually perform in them. And one thing I noticed a lot from Burrow, and there actually, you know, there was a good amount of footage from Burrow. There, I, there's probably about... You can probably find about 30 minutes of just Joe Burrow footage online, which is nice because it's hard to get a lot of good practice footage from some of these guys. Uh, but this was one of the things where I thought was this stood out to me. This play did where what's going to happen is that basically Burrow was standing uh, right behind that little, uh, you know, the black thing that looks, you know, has four pegs sticking out of it. He's standing uh, directly behind that. There's also a coach in between the two of them. And uh, what's going to happen is that the coach basically just points in one direction, either to the left or to the right. And then Burrow runs in that direction, and he's going to make a throw on the run. That's the way this, uh, uh, you know, exercise works. And you notice that, so first he goes to the, you know, our left, makes a very good throw on the run. There's also going to be another one where he goes the other direction, also makes a very good throw on the run. Again, this isn't anything we haven't, you know, this is all stuff we've seen before, nothing too surprising from Burrow. We know he's great at running outside the pocket. But I find this kind of thing interesting because I, it does kind of tell me to some degree maybe Cincinnati's going to be doing this a bit. Maybe Cincinnati is going to sort of rely on Burrow's ability to run around. Am I reading too much into just one practice? I mean, yeah, but you know, this was on the first practice and they're already having him do sort of drills like this. Uh, it leads me to believe that there could be some more, uh, you know, they, they could they could be fully aware that their offensive line may be not the best and they maybe have to make sure Burrow can, you know, still has his ability to throw on the run and things of that nature uh, because he might need it. Like, even this drill is another one where, uh, you know, what's going to happen is that it's going to be a play action uh, to the, it's basically, it's like a play action, and then he runs back and then flips it up to the halfback, and he's going to kind of fake as though there's a defensive player who's charging in on him. So, like, as you see, he fakes the handoff first things first, then he runs back, and, you know, again, you, uh, you see, see a couple guys sort of put their hands up just to kind of simulate pressure. So, Burrow has to try and make a throw. And you notice how Burrow is making this throw. It's almost like a jump pass. He's j jump, leaping up with both uh, feet. They're kind of straight up. This is, not, uh, this is not what you would do if you were in an actual game and this was actually how far away they were. But this is just a practice. They're doing this to try and see how, what would he do if he doesn't have time to get his feet square, if he has to throw off his back foot, if he has to throw off balance, and he is able to make this throw. Uh, and again, that's another example. of They're clearly saying we need to make sure that you're okay with playing even if you know you're under pressure 
this isn't just Burrow being lazy in practice. I mean, like, watch. Let's take an actual LSU game. This isn't a championship game. But this is just a screen pass. So this is the kind of play that you would think that if you're going to, you know, not have perfect fundamentals on, this would be the play you'd do it. However, you watch Burrow, and his fundamentals are perfect. He totally squares around, gets the ball over as quickly as he can. Play doesn't go for anything, but that's not important. That's not why I'm bringing it up. More so just bringing it up to show that he has very good fundamentals. He's purposely having, you know, uh, you know, trying to make different types of throws on these plays because Cincinnati feels as though they're going to need him to. Either that or they just did this for a little bit and then that just happens to be most of the footage that I've been able to get my hands on. Uh, you know, again, it is hard to say. I am speculating to some degree. I'm not going to pretend I'm not. Uh, but, but, you know, I, I, that's what I think. And I think there's evidence to, to support that. Also, one more thing I want to talk about is that I noticed that uh, Azoma and, and Burrow seem to have really good uh, chemistry, which is interesting because, you know, you got a guy who hasn't really played a full— I mean, obviously, they never, they never played together before, but I thought they had some really good plays. This is one of them where the route that Burrow's going to be throwing to, it's that route right there. And once Burrow gets the ball, I mean, I like how he—again, this is just a perfect— throw exactly where you want. Uh, again, it's hard to imagine how open uh, you'll be seeing guys get when there's actual coverage as opposed to just practice. But at the same time, I mean, even if there wasn't a big opening, I mean, that's a pretty accurate throw, uh, which is definitely pretty promising. Uh, again, it's always easier to make an accurate throw in practice than it is to make it in, in, NF- in, in a game, let alone an NFL game. So, of course, we get it. But I think it's still promising. Uh, there's one more example. where it's gonna, This one's going to be more of a deeper route. Uh, I should mention all these routes are not for scale. Uh, you know, this is, again, kind of difficult here with the with the weird camera angles. But I'm making do with what I have. And I'm going to pause this at a certain point. What I like about it, when I'm pause, why I'm pausing it right here, is this is when Burrow starts his throwing motion. And you notice this is also when 87 right there is starting uh, his his cut. They're both basically in sync right here. This is perfect timing for Burrow. And the other thing I like about this is he knows Azuma's speed right here. And so watch where he's going to put this ball up, where he puts it in a position where he can run up and grab it but still stay on his feet. Can't ask for much better of a throw than that one. Uh, And again, it's two plays. Uh, It's a small sample size. I'm sure that there were some missed throws that they just didn't show. So how much confidence do we really have? Uh... I don't go crazy is what I would say, but I think it's promising, and I think there are some small nuggets you can take away from these practices that say, hey, that's neat. If you're looking for you know, me to make a video that's going to, after watching the practice, say this guy is definitely going to be a star or this guy is definitely going to suck, uh, you're just not going to get that in practice. There just isn't enough uh, evidence, and if there was that evidence, it's hard to imagine that would get shown uh, in a way that you know anyone could see. They'd probably bury that evidence. Which, again, is why I kind of wish that there was uh, preseason. I love the preseason. Disappointed didn't happen this year, but I do. obviously, I get it. There's worse things that have happened in 2020 than no preseason football. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think they're fun to make. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.